Hey guys and welcome to this video. In this video we want to find the value of this fraction. We have here 2 divided by 4 over 2 times 4. Are you ready to solve? Let's go ahead and get started. Instead of this fraction we can write parentheses 2 divided by 4 then divided by parentheses 2 times 4. Four. The numerator divided by the denominator. And now, according to the order of operations, which is PEMDAS, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponents, M and D stands for multiplication and division, and A and S stands for addition and subtraction. We first do parentheses then exponents, then multiplication and division, and finally addition and subtraction. Remember that multiplication and division have equal priority and we have to work from left to right. And the same applies to addition and subtraction. So, according to the PEMDAS, we first do parentheses. Here we have these two parentheses. First, this one. And inside these parentheses, we have 2 divided by 4. Uh, 2 divided by 4 can be written as 2 over 4. Then divided by this parentheses, 2 times 4. Uh, we can easily simplify this uh, fraction. 2 divided by 2 gives us 1 and 4 divided by 2 gives us 2. So we have 1 over 2, then divided by this parenthesis. 2 times 4 gives us 8. So we have 1 over 2 divided by 8. According to the KCF rule, KCF, K stands for keep, C stands for change, and F stands for flip. Keep the first fraction, change the division to multiplication, and then uh, flip the second fraction. Our second fraction is 8 over 1. So uh, we can write 1 over 2, then times 1 over 8. And this is equal to 1 divided by 2 times 8, which equals 16. So therefore, our final answer to this problem is 1 over 16. Eight divided by two, then times one over two. Are you ready to solve? Let's go ahead and get started. We can easily cancel these two and these two. So eight divided by just one. And eight divided by one gives us eight. But this answer is not correct. Because according to the order of operations, which is PEMDAS, uh, multiplication and division have equal priority and we have to work from left to right. So first we, uh, we have to handle this division. 8 divided by 2 gives us 4 and 4 times 1 over 2. 4 times 1 over 2 can be written as 4 over 2 and 4 over 2 is equal to just Two. So, our final answer to this problem is 2. Two squared divided by 4, then times 6 plus 4. Are you ready to solve? Let's go ahead and get started. According to the order of operations, which is PEMDAS, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponents, M and D stands for multiplication and division, and A and S stands for addition and subtraction. 
we first do parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication and division, and finally addition and subtraction. Remember that multiplication and division have equal priority, and we work from left to right. And the same applies to addition and subtraction. So here we first do this parenthesis. Our expression equals 2 square divided by 4, then times 6 plus 4 equals 10. Now here we have this exponent, this division, and this uh, multiplication. Uh, we have to handle this exponent first. So 2 square equals 4, and 4 divided by 4, then times 10. As we know, division and multiplication have equal priority, and we work from left to right. So first, 4 divided by 4, which equals 1, and 1 times 10 is just 10. So our final answer to this problem is 10. Three plus three times three divided by three. Are you ready to solve? Let's go ahead and get started. Three plus three gives us six. So six times three, then divided by three. Six times three equals 18. So 18 divided by three and 18 divided by three is equal to six. But this answer is not correct. Because according to the order of operations, uh, first we have to do the numerator of this fraction, then divided by denominator. Okay, so our fraction can be written as 3 plus 3 times 3, then divided by 3. And here, according to the order of operations, which is PEMDAS, PEMDAS, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponents, M and D stands for multiplication and division, and A and S stands for addition and subtraction. We first do parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication and division, and finally addition and subtraction. Remember that multiplication and division have equal priority and we work from left to right. And the same applies to addition and subtraction. So here we have these parentheses. And inside these parentheses, we have this uh, addition and this uh, multiplication. According to PEMDAS, uh, we first do this uh, multiplication. And 3 times 3 gives us 9. So equals, inside these parentheses, we have 3 plus 9 then divided by 3. And uh, our expression can be written as 3 plus 9 gives us 12. So 12 divided by 3. And this is equal to 4. So our final answer to this problem is 4.